So today I'm going to do a bit of a different video and this is going to be about products that I don't think are worth the hype or products that I regret buying. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to call the video yet but um, you'll probably see it by the end of this title. This is obviously about products that I've bought that I've just been like not that satisfied with and a little disclaimer for all of you. Um, I would say that some of the products that I show in this video Luckily, there's not a lot, but some of them, it's they're not particularly bad. Um, either they just don't really work with me and my skin or whatever, or else I just find that I've got better products um, that I prefer above these. So, um, without further ado, I'll get into them and show you all of the products. The first product that I'm going to show you is unfortunately from the Body Shop and normally I just want to say that I love the Body Shop and almost all of their products. Um, this is the Vanilla Bliss Body Polish with Vanilla Extract and Community Fair Trade Honey and this is kind of like a body scrub, um, a very mild body scrub and it smells like vanilla obviously. This is a limited edition which I bought during Christmas. I've used a lot of it because I really want to finish it, I don't want to just throw it out because it was a limited edition and I do like the smell even though it's very artificial um, but the actual product is so light and it just, when you apply it to the skin, you know, normally scrubs they kind of like scrub your skin but these, they are so like, it's, it just doesn't do anything really, it's just like a, I don't know, a kind of like cream with um, beets in there, in there that you just run all over your body and you know it doesn't really do anything and it kind of like goes everywhere because it's so watery in texture so it's just very very messy to use and not really lovely I mean when I've used it I haven't really felt any difference in my skin at all I haven't felt like that I've exfoliated or done anything at all so to me it's been kind of like a waste of money because it doesn't really do what it promises to do. I don't really find it to be a good scrub at all. It's very, very, very mild. And even though I don't like like really harsh exfoliators, I do like an exfoliator to actually do its job. And this doesn't do anything for me. Then I've got the Tresemme um, Keratin Smooth Lethal Keratina Beautifying Oil. And this one is actually one of those products where I'm like, it is not a bad product, but I do feel like that I've got a lot of other hair oils that are way better than this one. Um, as you can see, I haven't really used it that much, and the reason is obviously that I find that I've got better hair oils. I mean, this one has got um, not that many oils in it as some of the other ones that I've got, so I feel like that it's got more of chemical ingredients than actual oil. So that kind of like bothers me. I mean, this was only a drugstore product and I didn't really pay that much money. I think it was like 60 Danish Krona I gave for it or something like that. It was really, really cheap. Um, so I would say if you're on a budget, then you can definitely buy it. You know, it is still a hair oil and there are some really great oils in here. But I would say that compared to some of the other oils that I've got, this is just not my favorite and also it's very runny in texture as you can see it's very very I don't know it's just not it doesn't really remind me that much of an oil it's more like a watery oil and I'm not really into that I much more prefer my Moroccan oil that's a bit more thick in texture because I really just feel like that it does something to my hair then I've got a nail polish this is a nail polish from Trombo which is a Danish makeup beauty skincare brand and normally, once again, I normally love Trumbo. I think they're so, so great. They're also organic and yeah, just a great um, brand normally. But I would say the nail polishes, they are not good. I mean, the texture is very, very watery and also when you apply it on the nails, you need seriously like four to five coatings before you've actually got the actual color. I mean, this is the one called Electra, and when I just apply like one or two coatings of this one, first of all, it sits in kind of like patches on my nails, so it doesn't really glide on smoothly, and also it creates air bubbles because I have to um, apply that many coats. 
and that's obviously not pretty when you've got like air bubbles all over your nails it looks so bad so I'm just really really disappointed in this one I mean I love the color I think it's so cool and especially for spring and summer I would love to wear it but I don't know I just feel like because it is such a bad texture it just doesn't do anything for me and it's just I wouldn't recommend any of you guys to go check out Tom Ball's um, nail polishes. They are quite bad and I would definitely recommend you guys to try some of their other products. Then I've got this Garnier Skin Naturals Nordic Essentials Cleansing Gel Mousse, which is supposed to refresh and cleanse the skin. Um, and this is just a face wash for normal to combination skin and I hate it. <laughs> I absolutely hate it. I mean, it is only a drugstore product and I was like, oh, I need a new um, face wash and therefore I bought this one because it was with um, antioxidant grape um, extract and it just seemed really, really nice. It is so bad. I mean, it just broke me out. I mean, normally I don't have trouble with, you know, like um, dry patches on my skin or even pimples or sits or blemishes. But this one, it really just made my skin a living hell. And I really tried to make this work and use it. I used it for like two weeks and it was some of the worst two weeks for my skin. I would not recommend any of you guys to go try it. It is so bad. And also, it's just something that I've read and I'm not sure if it's true, but I've heard that they actually test their products on animals and I'm just so against that really really bad face wash that really just breaks you out. I don't know if it's because it's got a lot of chemical things in here. The list of ingredients is so long so I'm not even going to try to pronounce any of the words because there's so many that I don't even know. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's really really bad and don't try it. Your skin will hate you for it. Then I've got a dry shampoo hair and this is from Matis and it is the dry shampoo for dark hair which is supposed to give structure and texture to your hair um, and it's also without perfume so so that can like draw me into the product um, unfortunately this is the worst <laughs> dry shampoo that I've ever tried in my entire life and I've tried a lot of like dry shampoos this is so 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 bad and the smell as well it is so gross and also it is supposed to give texture to the hair but I find that this one actually just makes my hair really, really crunchy and really hard to work with. It's just a really bad product and I'm going to throw it out. I've got like that much left. I can kind of like hear it and feel it. There's a lot left and I'm just not going to use it. I'm never going to use it. It is so bad and so gross and I'm, I hate it. I mean, I know it's a harsh word to say, but literally it just didn't do anything for my hair at all. Then I've got some makeup things and the first one is my L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hours Stay Fresh Foundation. I did a first impressions video about this foundation. I was so disappointed and actually after I like um, filmed the entire video and so on, I actually washed off all of my makeup and started over because I hated it. It made me look so orange and peachy in my skin and it was just the totally wrong colour shade. And also, as I said in the video, I'm going to link the first impressions video down below for you guys so you can go check it out. But it also just made my skin feel so cakey and it just felt as if I was putting on a mask. And it was just so heavy and so not nice to wear. I hated it and I've only tried to use it like one or two times afterwards I filmed the first impressions video and I just can't make it work. I don't really know if I should give it away or throw it out because I know that I'm not going to use it again. I mean, it is just horrible. I, I Normally I love L'Oreal and actually my favorite foundation is from L'Oreal so it's kind of weird that they can go from something that amazing to something that shitty. <laughs> So um, I'm so sorry but I just really don't like it and I don't recommend any of you guys to get it. The other makeup product that I'm going to show you is from e.l.f. and it's the eyelid primer from e.l.f. I don't like it. Um, first of all because it doesn't really do what a primer is supposed to do. I mean it doesn't really make my 
eyeshadows stay all day or glide on smoothly. I mean, to me, it just doesn't really do anything. Um, actually, also, it just has a lot of, like, um, glitters in it. I mean, so weird. I don't know if you, I can try to... Sh oh, and also, my lid is broken. That's kind of shitty. I It was like that when I bought it, so that's kind of, like, really, really bad as well. But I was just unlucky with that. Um, but actually, if you can see... You probably can't, but I can. There's some small glitters in there, and it is just not lovely because I don't want glitters in my eyelid primer. I mean, if I want glitter on my eyelids, I use a glittery eyeshadow or something like that. I mean, I, I just don't get it. I mean, to me, that's really, really weird. I don't get why you put glitters or shimmers in a primer. Last product is from Elizabeth Arton and I actually hate that I have to put this in the video but this is once again one of these products where I'm just like I've got better products than this one. Um, but this is the Elizabeth Arden Visible Difference Refining Moisture Cream Complex and um, the reason why that this one is in my products I regret buying video is because it stinks like stinks i dread the scent of this so much i mean it's i don't i don't even want to open it because it's so smelly oh no oh it smells like a mixture between an old lady perfume and pee it is so gross i hate it i mean and you have to apply this on your face i mean oh I mean, I really try to make it work and try to be like, just, just don't think about the smell, don't think about the smell. But as soon as I just apply it, I'm just like, <laughs> so gross, so gross, so gross. Some might like it, I don't know. I mean, if you like the scent of Granny's old perfume and socks and pee and just everything gross, then you should definitely go for this one. But, oh. I don't really know what to do with it. I mean, I'm like, I don't want to throw it out because it is Elizabeth Arton and it was very expensive. But it stinks. I can't use it. I mean, I I feel like I have to vomit whenever I apply it. <sighs> Please help me. Tell me down below what I'm supposed to do. I don't know what to do. So guys, that was all from my products I regret buying video. Um. I feel really bad about showing these products, but also I want to help you guys so you don't make the same mistakes as I have. Obviously, there's no hate thing going on for any of the brands or any of the products. I mean, if these products work for you guys, then keep on using them. I mean, they just don't work for me at all. And um, as I also said, not all of the products are bad, but there's just some of them that I either don't like or that I find I have better products than those. Thank you very much for watching. Please give it a huge thumbs up if you found this video helpful and also subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Instagram for pictures and fun things with me. So thank you very much for watching. Have an awesome day and also uh, a little thing that I forgot to say. Um, I'm soon going to do another Q&A video um, and I need some questions um, so I can answer them. Leave a comment down below with all of the questions and I'm going to answer them soon. So now, thank you very much for watching and have an awesome day. Bye!